Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Ophelia Sabrina Acapo and wanted to give you a prophetic word that the Lord has spoke to me on today. And this is a very powerful prophetic word. And as with any prophetic word, you will absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirits to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. And I also wanted to say happy, happy Valentine's Day weekend to each and every one of you guys. And also happy Saturday to you guys. And the title of this prophetic word is going to be Unleash the Champion in You. And I'm going to say that again because I'm feeling the Holy Spirit on this thing. Unleash the champion in you. So you guys, I was about to go a completely different route with this word for today. And lo and behold, as I'm listening to Ja'Kalen Carr's song, You Will Win. When she said, unleash the champion in you, the Holy Spirit unctioned me. This is it. The Lord is unleashing the champion in you in this season. So the first thing that came to my mind was when David slayed Goliath. You guys know I love that story. He unleashed the very thing that others didn't think he was capable of. The very thing that all others denied was the very thing that slayed his giant. Never un underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit, nor the power of God. God released undefeated. God releases undefeated champions. Now Goliath was a champion in everyone else's eyes, but David actually had a strategy. First Samuel, as he was talking with them, behold, the champion the Philistine from Gath named Goliath was coming up from the army of the Philistines. And he spoke these same words and David heard them. The Lord wants you to release the inner value, gift, mindset, talents, creativity, and he wants you to win, knowing that you are already on the winning side. Unleashing a champion is no matter what happens? You are going to apply pressure. Give it your all, even your very best. Push, press, endure, fight. Put your best foot forward, giving it your all. Proverbs 23 and 7. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Hallelujah. See yourself the way God sees you, and he sees you as a champion and his most prized possession. Study to show thyself approved. Come to the Lord with the right heart posture and balance and present yourself to God approved. So know in your knowing before you even get to God that you're already approved. Have that faith knowing that you have already been approved. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker when he has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. You were predestined as a champion and as a winner when he made you in his image and in his likeness and gave you dominion over all the earth. Genesis 1 and 26. Then he gave you, and this is just paraphrasing it, then he gave you dominion to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And subdue it, Genesis 1 and 28. Know that you were born a champion and born to win. You are an overcomer and more than a conqueror. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Unleashing that champion in you is going to cause you to be steadfast and it's going to cause you to be immovable. And no matter what, you will always stand firm and let nothing move you. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable always. Work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Know that you are a victor. 
Know that you are a fighter. Know that you are a man and a woman of integrity. And know your worth. Know that you are a prize winner in this season because you have passed every test and slayed every giant via the Holy Spirit providing you roadmaps and blueprints to defeat. The Lord has unleashed a champion in you full force in this season to come forth as pure gold, knowing that you are already a winner because you are on the winning side. So unleash that champion into in you. Unleash that champion in you. Unleash that champion in you in the mighty name of Jesus. What is on the inside of you? Unleash that champion in you on the outside of you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this word has encouraged as well as edified and exhortated and excited and enlight enlightened your day on today it has for me the holy spirit brought this word forth with power and i can feel the holy ghost power in this word welcome 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 to all of my new subscribers welcome to the fam you guys i love each and every one of you guys Thank you so much for your continuous support. Thank you for taking the time out to listen. Thank you for even being a part of the fam and being on this channel. I love every each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, come on over where you'll be getting a treat because you'll be getting words straight by the leading of the Holy Spirit, straight from the word of God. God, because his word is faithful and it is true. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. And I just thank him for using me as a vessel to be used by him and to represent his image and to represent his character. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you can be notified each time I upload a video. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Valentine's Day weekend once again. Happy Saturday. God bless each and every one of you guys and do subscribe to this channel because you'll be getting a treat. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a safe, blessed weekend. Until the next video, I love you guys. Take care. I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.